Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back on Adobe Live, and this is the third day with Mr. Tallinn. Hey, hey Michael, Tallinn. good to be back. Excited. Oh, yeah. So with the Tallinn, who is the lead designer for Adobe XD. So if you have any questions about Adobe XD, this is the right time. I know there was a kind of uh, trendy topic on Twitter about the ruler. <laughs> you I'm told just me responding. That, yeah, yeah, you told me that something happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was now all of a sudden I needed a really easy way in Twitter to reply to at least a dozen people, but I've uh, rulers. The man yes. with the plan. Yes, oh that's goodness. Stalin. Yes. What's up? <laughs> hey, Nate. How are you guys doing? Will there be a December release for XD on the Mac? Uh, we had one. Uh, it was this week. You, mm -hmm. you, you had new mm -hmm. features in this release, actually, yep. if you update it on uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. and, and on the mobile apps as well. Yeah. So everybody. New features with the mobile apps and, of course, Windows 10. Windows, Windows 10. Now we have the first beta, and um, we are very happy. We, are, we already received uh, some screens designed with uh, oh, Windows on them. That's great. Yeah, you we guys got should the BXD, definitely so. tweet those at me. I want to see those. I'm really excited. Windows just yeah, looks so, it's easy, so like, good. You go on Twitter, and you search for Adobe Live, yeah. and you will see all the prototypes. Okay. Uh, okay. They are um, yeah, a lot of uh, friends in the chat shared what they were doing. You can keep sharing your prototypes, your screen designs on Twitter, adding the Adobe Live hashtag. We still have a contest going on. So if you prototype an app and you try to solve the problem holiday planner, how to plan holidays, then you enter a contest and you can get a chance to win a one-year credit card subscription. Another way is just to stay with us, okay? And maybe you will be lucky because we will pick someone in the chat who will get a one-year credit card subscription. Ooh, yep. Nice. At any time. It can happen at any time. Nice. And um, so what did we do? So on, uh, on Tuesday with Tallinn, we started from a blank yes. page, really, and we decided to. Uh, we uh, what's the name? We uh, we redesign. Redesign. Rethink. Yeah. Think. Yeah. We think uh, a uh, really amazing feature in Illustrator. An, yeah, one of our favorite feature in Illustrator that we mm -hmm. call our artwork feature, um, and um, and see how it could fit in XD. And uh, yeah, maybe we, you can show what you yes. what you did. And yes. thanks also to our friends in the chat because you were testing live. You know, we, we ask you for feedback. Oh, that was that was the coolest thing. I think that's that's the that's a first, a prototype being designed and tested live. Yeah, yeah, on the I chat. think you're right. It's the first. It was pretty great. And this is something we have been talking about uh, a few months back. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I just shared the link to our prototype that we made over okay. the last two days. There is a link now. So if you haven't seen it, you should go look at it. This is, of course, the the prototype for Project Chameleon, which is uh, the name that we've given yep. our recolor. Artwork to feature in Zorro. I think to it the, was yeah, Zorro in the yeah. chat. Yeah. Um, from the name. So yeah, this is this is again this is our prototype. So here it is in XD. Of course, this is a little bit of that inception again because here I am actually designing a feature <laughs> for XD oh, in XD. I need to show you something. Okay, oh, I, I need okay. to find it first. Okay. Some, so, someone made you a joke on on, on Twitter. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Hey, Count Zero. Uh, Sebastian had a question, but I'm, I'm, I can hopefully provide an answer. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay. The friends in the chat, they know where I'm yeah. going. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, so this is uh, Luca. Uh-huh. Who made for you the dark theme. The dark the theme. Team. Oh, my goodness. He redesigned how to be XD just Look at that. It's right there. It's done. Be done. All right. Yep. Let's, let's just ship that. Good job, Luca. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are. So I'm going to run through our prototype. So you can follow along mm -hmm. if you have the link. It's in there. Nice. Right? So with recolor artwork in Illustrator, you can select any artwork, any vector artwork you have, and it will show you the colors that are being used in that artwork. And then you can choose from your color swatches to quickly just sort of see your artwork in a new way mm -hmm. with, a bunch, with a different set of colors. It's a remix. Yeah. And so what we wanted to do was to make it even better in XD was to have that same functionality. So I select my artwork, and then I'm, we, we titled it Remix for now. This is just our first sort of pass at some language here and placement of the UI. When we hit Remix, this is the really exciting part, is that it will go out there and pull the most popular color themes from color.adobe.com, one of my favorite services since the day it was launched in C, yeah, it was CS2. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Again, it was a big part of my workflow before I joined Adobe. Um, and of course, we just wanted to, to pull that in. So here we are. Um, 
We're seeing the most popular color themes from color.adobe.com. We have our artwork. It's showing the global Global colors that are being used, the theme that's actually that we've made in our design. And we want to try something new. So we can just uh, come over here and we're going to choose Circus 3. And there it goes, just recolors our artwork. Or if we want to try something else, oh, look at that. Another, really, that easy, that easy. Yeah, so easy. But of course, we, as we were prototyping, we, we saw some some problems. And this is this was like one that we, that we called out right away, which is now that I've changed to the honey theme, we can't see the type. So we kind of went a little further yesterday in our prototype and we made it so you could actually swap around the colors and to find the theme that was going to work best with your design, mm-hmm. actually, and tweak those. And of course, now we're kind of at this point where we could go a couple different ways with our prototype. I think we, there's been a great response, and I've loved seeing the comments. Yeah, on so the you prototype. received some comments during the. That's really cool. Night. So if we go and we see, let me just click on the link again. All right, guys. I mean, he's a, oh, come on, I'm out. We can come back here. Uh, come, come. I mean, say goodbye. So. Yes. And uh, yeah, so I traveled back to New York and uh, could see rulers. So or, 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 yeah. We're working on it. Yes. And those other cool things I showed you yesterday, yeah. that as well. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna reach out to you to test some prototypes, yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so here we are. We were using XD to prototype, but also to get feedback. We got the comments right here. Of course, as we were getting those comments, we realized, oh, well, we we needed to go. We you know, like we went a little further. Mm-hmm. We saw it applied to our artwork. We saw our global nice. colors change. And if you remember back from day one, we actually did a like a like a user flow sketch um, about kind of what what could a d- designer be doing with their art? How, they, how could they remix it? And one of the other options we thought was um, was color was type. Sorry, type to go along with color. Like if there's something else that I could change to make a really big visual impact on my design, it was type. And so uh, today we might take a stab at adding type into our remix yeah. chameleon project. Let's do it. And we have a question by Sebastian Moreno yeah, asking. Got? About animation, like, do, do do we plan to have like a timeline maybe one mm. day in Nature Animate, like hmm. in Nature Animate, you know, like yeah, a timeline yeah, yeah, with time key line. frames? Interesting. Which is, uh, how would you how would you how would you use an, uh, a timeline, Sebastian? Is what I what I would want to know. Uh, Karen, you can check out the link. It's it up there be. in the uh, in the in the stream, a little higher up, and you can definitely click on that and check it out. I'll post the link again here in a yeah, second. Yeah, I can post no. All right, let's see about it. Yeah, it's in memory. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like uh, they were talking about, let's say, okay, I type on something and then there is a, a pop-up, you mm-hmm. know, like mm-hmm. or a, a part of the screen, you know, moving to the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, then it's not really a transition. You can really do that with the transition because now yeah. with the transition, the entire artboard is moving. Yeah, yeah. So it will be for micro animations. Micro interactions, yes. I like that. I, I, would, I would use that all the time. Yeah. Hmm. Keyframing. Yeah. Do you do, you do um, so? Is animate? I know I had a lot of experience in After Effects too. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, the same timeline actually. But I think time. I feel like maybe timelines are a little hard to work with. Do you think? I mean, when um, you when you get like a lot of objects and a lot of layers so are, inside of After Effects. Yeah, and there are two kinds of timelines. You yeah. Know, yeah. There is the one you would get in Premiere Pro with yeah. clips, which is quite easy to understand, or yep. in yep. Photoshop with layers. But when it comes to uh, mm. keyframes. Uh, it means properties. So, what kind of properties would you have on the timeline? Is it opacity and yeah. also position and rotation? I mean, and then it becomes After Effects. Oh, yeah, and then uh, you have, you know, when you have, I know, because then you start getting this uh, pre-comping to try yeah. and clean up your timeline. And and you want yeah. some easing. Yeah, yeah. You know. I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely interested in, in micro interactions. I think that, uh, I think there's, I think there's definitely some, some better ways we could, we could do something like that. Yeah, and, yeah. and again, you're trying to. Uh, to tell your story, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and and I mean and be flexible, right? The design at the speed of thought. That was our mantra. Mm-hmm. Um, and we so you know we got it's tricky to to take like XD and add new features because every time we add new features, there's another thing that you, that a designer has to think about or uh, plan for. And I think the real exciting thing for me with XD is that uh, you know we didn't we didn't really have a plan when we sat down to mm-hmm. design this prototype, and we were able to to do it and have something that was really compelling that we could get in front of uh, designers almost immediately. And like I like that, and I definitely protective of adding more to that. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, but I, I, I totally think hear to you. tell a story, yeah, yeah I'm sure need... we can find like pre-built animations. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't need custom timeline. I feel just yeah. to. To sh- yeah, just yeah. to share what you want to create, uh, because again, we are not working with the final, uh, you know, framework yeah. to create yep. the app. You are trying to express an idea, 
mm -hmm. and make sure your user understand what you want to express and uh, see if it works. Too, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. So yeah, maybe it's too much a timeline. I'm you never not know. Sure. I mean, I think we'll the timeline solves. You know, like the way I think we like to break it down is like, what is the timeline solving for a user? Like, what 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 thing are you doing with it? And then how can we make that faster or better or more contextual? Maybe. Um, you know, like those are some things that uh, yeah but yeah. There are some good features now. The Teclo would like to love a teamwork feature where you can work together with colleagues and friends oh. at the same time. So wow. we unveiled at Adobe Max that we are actually working on it. So if you watch the Adobe Max keynote, Adobe Max is the is the big Adobe yeah. event, the creativity Adobe conference. Adobe conference. It was uh, one month ago in um, San Diego. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the YouTube Creative Cloud channel and there is a, a link you can subscribe to our channel, you will find the day one keynote. And in the middle of the keynote, we uh, reveal uh, actually uh, live collaboration in the cloud having uh, several uh, designers working on the same project. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you will see uh, Michael is working on this artboard as uh, Tallinn is working on this one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is definitely coming. Definitely something that maybe we could we could share again in a future, maybe a prototype version. Yeah, maybe we'll, a we'll prototype keep an eye version. on it. There's, we're definitely we're working on some really cool prototypes right now that we're testing with designers. Um, so yeah, so maybe, maybe more to come on that soon. All right. so. Right, if we look back to our like big user flow, type was our other thing we want to see remixed. So I'm just going to, again, I'm going to put in, uh, maybe start laying in the foundation for, for type here. So I'm just going to do this. All right. So I'm going to make two tabs up here. Oh, it's weird because. Uh some of our friends are experiencing a black screen. Oh, they are. And me too, actually. Oh. Yeah, we're frozen. Oh, no. Which is weird because YouTube tells me that everything is going on. Oh, all right. And we. Thank you, YouTube. Thanks, guys. Yeah, YouTube says that the screen is good. Well, I give me time to, to jump ahead to the story a little bit here. The first, uh, what can I try to do? Yeah. And it works for, for some people. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm trying to fix, so I stopped and I started again. All is good, all good, okay. Sorry, we still have some surprises with YouTube sometimes. Mm -hmm. Happens. Unplug everything, yeah, my soul. Yes. We can try that. Hit the, hit, hit the power button. Yeah. Restart, restart. Just restart everything. It's kind of funny that hard restart still works. <laughs> yeah, and, and YouTube tells me that we're good. I mean, we can continue. And uh, all right, we'll there will be a replay. Worst case. Yes, uh, yes. You know. Yeah, no problem. Well, I was just taking. And the some moment. people are watching. They say that they're all good. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, and Justin, prototyping for VR. Hmm. I'm. I'm liking where that question's going. I'm very interested in that. Prototyping for VR. Yeah. Oh, you like oh yeah, mm. a new kind of screen. Exp oh yeah, I see. Yeah, what if I could actually design in XD, mm. put on my you know, turn over, oh. put on my VR headset, and actually preview uh, to preview the UI. Yeah, in real time as you. Yeah, but then you would have to do this and this, no? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Maybe even for augmented reality, maybe with something like the, um, with the with the Hololens too. Yeah, maybe. I know some guys at Microsoft. Yeah, let's talk to Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually I actually looked into it a little bit. There's actually nothing for a designer to be able to do that right now. How a lot of designers no, are working there is, nothing. is they'll design it in Photoshop or the Sketch or something, and then they'll mm -hmm. actually port that and bring that import that into Unity, and Unity is really like the tool that everyone is using to Unity. Like, yeah, it's more for three yeah, D yeah, and place yeah. things in that three dimensional yeah. space. So um, yeah, that, I'm really interested in that. All right, so here we are. We're we're adding type here to Project Chameleon. And we're just going to start laying in just similar like we did um, 
with, uh, with the last, we're just gonna start laying in the foundation of this workflow. So similar to, to color, okay. now I'm actually gonna oh, add, I actually like have that. two options here. Nice. Again, we're really just looking to, we're not gonna have any like final UI, but we're just looking to tell a story. Um, so of course when we have type, we're gonna just get rid of all of that. All right. And let's see, I just, let's, let's do some, do some quick, actually I'm gonna keep that for a second. Okay, and now it works for me on YouTube. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, sorry. Some yeah. people are experiencing some errors. Yeah, uh, we launched your brother. Now it's back, um, it's weird. But now I have a contact at YouTube. Oh, nice. Sam? I will call you Sam. <laughs> <laughs> No, so far we have very good experience with YouTube. I just yeah. have two uh, technical Great. issues. So sometimes you stream and the audio is not in sync. So we mm -hmm. had a stream like this uh, where the audio was not in sync, but then the replay is in sync. Mm -hmm. So just the live, you know, which is confusing. Mm -hmm. well, that would, and, uh, gets yeah. a little weird. All right, so here I am. I'm gonna make those like that. So let's go check a look at Typekit real quick, because that's what we're gonna. That's what we want to be. Want to be remixing from is Typekit. So let's go check out the fonts Typekit has on hand and how they present the fonts. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I think we're. I think what we'll do is we're just gonna take a quick screen grab of this, and we're gonna use this as our baseline here. All right, most popular pieces. Awesome, great. Of course, I'm now going to use one of my favorite features, the repeat grid. So I've selected my little card layout, and now I'm just going to repeat that. Okay, we have Christoph saying maybe you could enter an example text, like a sample text, like Ooh, on yeah. TypeKit. There you, you know? go. Maybe we, that's that. Yeah. We could definitely do idea. that. Let's yeah. let's do that. Well, we, we have type, though, on our canvas. Like, we have, like, what it would be previewing. We'd actually see the preview live. Oh, it's true. You would have a live preview. In our yeah. design. Yeah, it's, it's already true. been previewed. So you don't really have to type. When we're on the web, right, we need we need yeah. that because we don't actually see the design. But this makes type even more powerful because we're seeing that preview happen in real time. And the records say, great seeing your workflow. Ah, it's, it's fun to share. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I'm, you know, just, like, you know, toiling away and <laughs> doing designing things every day. And this has been, this has been really exciting. Cool. Do more of this. Um, it's great to get all the great feedback from everyone. I think that's been also the most exciting. Is like I can get feedback in real time. I mean, that just makes I, theoretically, and I, I think in practice, it makes me a better designer. So, all right. So here I am using Repeat Grid. Just, just the best. The Repeat Grid is just so good. All right. So now I'm just going to ungroup that. And now I'm going to start adding some typefaces. So this first one. Do I have? I don't. I, may, I need to make sure I have these typefaces. Actually, what's cool is I can mm -hmm. just probably go and. Do I have Mrs. Eves? Uh, yesterday we. You guys had one some, of them, no? We did. I might just start. Yeah, I might just use. One. Yeah, I might just use. Yeah, something you something have. Something I have here. Yeah, like Brendan. We're gonna or, use. Yep. Archer. Why did you go like that, Archer? Oh, Lady says that the repeat grid is really good. Thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so that's just it's still my favorite, my favorite feature. Archer. Yeah, we used it a lot actually with Emily and Matt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of repeat grids everywhere. Mm -hmm. Really great. All right. What else are we gonna do? We're gonna do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Choosing a bunch of these here real quick. We're not gonna go we're, Yeah, we're not gonna go <laughs> We're not gonna go all the way here today, but we're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna keep it keep it pretty simple. So we're gonna we're gonna have our three choices here at the top, then later on I'll go back and fix this up. Mm -hmm. Let's let's see how we go here. So when we switch over to type Maybe we should actually see a preview of the type being used, the global type being used here in our documents. So what are we using here? 
We're just using Helvetica. Pretty boring. So let's just put that there. All right. Move this here. Okay. This guy in here. So this shows the global. This is this is the typeface that we have here being used in our document. Mm -hmm. Put this little hair. And we don't here. have uh, textiles yet, right? Not yet, but okay. maybe this is maybe this would be the first foundation for that. Yeah. Right. Like yeah, we, yeah. if we can see the typeface being used here, and it's Helvetica, then what we can do now, just delete that for a second. Move it over here, and let's choose Filson. I really, I'm kind of liking that typeface. So this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show that it's selected. Okay, and this is gonna say soft. Of course, this needs to be Filson as well. Awesome, and then these guys, they're in a repeat grid. Isn't that awesome? So then I can just go like this. Boom, typeface is changed. Same here. Oh, look at that, that's just the best. I just love that so much. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't have to even set up a character style. It's already a character it's style. Easy. Yeah. Oh, I think that's looking much nicer and dishy. What do you guys think? Look how easy that is just, you know, <laughs> be able to just see some, some yeah. cool new options. That All right. Great. Okay, so now we have that. We're going to go, and I got some great feedback on this check mark, and we're going to use it as we go because to keep things consistent, but definitely a thing, a thing we're going to address in the future. Okay, so here we are, and we're going to move from this screen, and we're going to go over to prototype mode. We want When I click on type, we're going to go here. Excellent. And then when I click on Filson Soft, mm -hmm. I want to go to that one. All right, let's test that out. Let's see. So here we are. We've just chosen Honey as our, and uh, we rearranged the color swatches. That's what we've been doing here with the, with, uh, with, the, with our design. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to click over to Type. Swatch is replaced. I'm now seeing the typefaces being used in my design. I'm now seeing the most top popular typefaces you know, on Typekit. And I'm going to choose Filson Soft. Whoa. Magically, Very my soft. design changed. Yeah. Very soft. Very I think soft. it's got definitely got a nice character. Actually, I think it fits in with the with the icons a little better. Mm. So, font. Oh, uh, Vadim. Oh. Yeah. Um That's a great suggestion. Inferring. I think again, like we want to keep our prototype very focused in the early days, um, because again, we're looking for user feedback. And I think um, if we if everyone likes it then of course uh, then we definitely keep keep exploring i think font combinations and pairing we definitely dive into that that'd be good oh no carol carol signing off the yeah, stream it's because is it the weather no yeah maybe it's the weather maybe youtube doesn't like rain i don't know all the happens oh, we're here in the bay area getting pounded yeah, by rain we're trying to that's all right we'll just keep understand. designing yeah but there you guys be, can check this out the later. replay should work mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, now it's back. No, no, yeah. Oh, okay. If you refresh, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, All right, yeah. good. I think it's back. I don't yeah. know what happened to YouTube. Maybe Paul started streaming something. They had to shut down everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was in the back. All right, let's make sure that we're all in a good spot here. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have to go back and do some work on the rest of our prototype to get it up to speed. But what I'll do is I'll share this type version with everybody. OK, so we will share the prototype so you can leave comments okay, mm -hmm. directly if you sign in with your Adobe ID. I mean, mm -hmm. that's easy. Yes, indeed. So you All were right. talking about yesterday also to maybe what you should do with uh, a typeface that is like completely different. Mm -hmm. Because you were I mean, uh, sharing with us that with the color theme, it's good to have something very different it's true. to have it's an true. impact. Yep. And maybe do something like completely. Let's uh, yeah, you do know? Some, some some completely different. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do one more option. Let's maybe let's switch to a serif font. Yeah, you let's know. switch to a serif. Let's try let's try a nice serif here. Actually, I have Archer up there. Maybe we'll just try Archer. Archer's, I think it's a slab. A slab could be a good 
could fit here. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. medium. Question by Karel. Does yes. XD have performance simulation? Like emulate how graphics asset will perform on mobile edge or low Wi-Fi connectivity? Mm. Uh, it's more for developers. That's it's more for developers. Yeah. yeah, but if you but you can preview your designs on your mobile device. It's not going to show you performance, but <laughs> at least it'll give you the fidelity that you're looking for. Um, check that. These guys here. This archer. Angelo is asking, is there any integration with Adobe Bridge? <laughs> uh, not yet. I actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you, yeah. The, so when we do, we, you can't currently preview an XD file on, through the Finder. Oh, yeah. That's, we definitely have some more work to do on that. But once that does happen, there's definitely some cool things we can do with Bridge, with XD files. So. But if the thing that we did with the mobile app is if you use Creative Cloud, the Creative Cloud folder, and you have your XD uh, document inside that folder, now on the mobile apps, you can actually go and see those prototypes from anywhere. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be connected uh, to your mm -hmm. Mac laptop. And that, that's, that's, that's yeah, really cool. That's really cool. I was just doing that this morning. Yeah? Yeah. It was, oh, really, nice. it was really great. And I was like, oh, I haven't done that yet. I mean, I tested it, but... Okay, so now we're going to change this to say Archer, and then we're going to make this border that. And fill some soft. Turn off the border. Okay, now let's go wire this up. Switch over to prototype mode. That there. Great, now we're going to move this guy over here and do that. And take our new design and paste that there. And then, actually, we're going to take this Archer card mm -hmm. and we're going to put this over in our Assets panel to show that we now are using the global typeface. Do that. Move this guy up here. Okay, so it becomes a new kind of asset. Yeah, it becomes maybe like this is style? a char yeah, character style. Character style. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get down, copy this guy. And we'll say mm, character style. <laughs> Would the color change also affect the type color? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. It's I mean, I think uh, that's one of the things. I think yesterday we showed. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we yeah, showed we like showed why it. you would why you would change. Yeah, and why you want to fine tune and remix the colors. Yeah. Even if you like the theme. Yeah, you might need to. Yeah, things might not be set up the right way. Okay, look at that. Now we have a character style. Nice. Really great. Okay, so then we're gonna okay, like do it. Go here. All right, let's test this out. Gonna go back here. Can drag and drop Maybe. instead of save, and then drag and drop. Okay. So there we go. We've we've chosen our color. We like it. Let's go over here to the right. type. Okay. Let's first we'll try that. Yeah, this looks kind of nice. Okay. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Let's try another one. Ooh. Archer. A little more refined. A little more style yeah. to it. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Let's sure. Let's, let's give it a shot. Oh, and I have a typo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. There we and go. And we have a new style. And we're right back into our document. And we nice now flow. have a character style that we pulled from Typekit. That's cool. A character, like, that you can just grab that from Typekit, and it like, could become, like, your character style automatically. That's yeah, Someone cool. was mentioning image fields. But yeah, this is something you already have. Like, uh, you can drag and drop an image from the browser to you can. a shape. Like, yeah. Maybe you can show it because someone yes. was like, Yes, yeah. let's do it. Every time I had to save the image and then drag it and drop it from the desktop, uh, but no. Coming to you from the web. From stock maybe. Stock. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
um, food because we, of course we're yeah. doing dishy. I don't know. Yeah, looks pretty festive. Let's do it. Doo -doo. Boom! There we go. Image field directly right from the brother. Very nice. We could have drug it right behind my my name there too. Very cool. Okay, we chose an archer. Great. All right. And again, it could be any kind of shape, not mm -hmm. necessarily a rectangle. It works with a circle or something you you draw with the the pen tool. Any kind of shape. Mm -hmm. So now, what I'm going to do real quick before we send out our prototype again is take this guy and I want to update this. We're going to have our type in here. All right, color and type. Put that there. Uh, so Mohammad is saying that he would really love to have the smart object features from Photoshop in XD. Mm. So imagine you copy a SVG from Photoshop or from Illustrator and then paste to XD, mm -hmm. double click and you go back to Illustrator or, or Photoshop to edit it. Oh yeah, yeah. You see? Definitely. I think we're, we're looking at some, we're, you know, we're going to be integrating Creative Cloud libraries. Um, oh yeah, and you can have smart objects in the cloud yep. with Creative Cloud yep. libraries. Yep. Yep. Just make sure we're all wired up here again. Yeah. There. Maybe I can show this concept. There. Actually, I don't think we need this guy now. Why oh, don't no, we do need that one? That, that. It's this guy we don't need now. we just go from here to here. OK, let's test that out. Let's go back to the beginning. Go back, run through our whole story here. Select the whole artboard, remix, awesome. Let's do some color. Circus, yes. Honey, not so great. We got to tweak that. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to go over to type. I'm going to try Filson in the design. We're going to try Archer in the design. I got to fix my typo. Hit there. Boom. There we are. All right. We just added type remixing to our design. Look at that. In what? 30 minutes? Less than that? What? OK, now I'm just going to go up here to the share dialog. And I'm going to hit share again. And this is going to update. So this would be the same link, right? Yeah, this would be the same link. So everybody can still go access the same link. And I'm just going to update that link to add our type remixing into our prototype. Yeah, so I will copy paste the link again in the chat. There it is. Link to Let's go check it five. out. Everybody in the chat, go check it out. OK, select that. Remix. Circus, yes. Honey, a little better. Need to tweak it. Let's tweak it. Let's go over to type. Filson, we like it. Archer, that's what we want. Bam, right back into our design. Yeah. Look at how much we've done. That's efficient. Huh? We have designed a whole feature <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in less than the full three hours we had total over the last three days. This is pretty amazing. That's yeah. It's too fast. Too it's fast. uh it's never been done before, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's a first. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. What do you guys think? So are you checking out the prototype? Are you giving us comments? You can comment in the stream and the uh, or yeah. in the chat, or you can comment right directly on the prototype. That really helps me. And as you're doing that, maybe I can talk about the smart objects in the cloud yeah. so they yeah. can understand the oh, concept. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So let's say you have a designer working in Illustrator on a, an illustration, any kind of an icon mm -hmm. or everything. And he decides to put it in a Creative Cloud library. And we call it star. OK, and that's it here. I can close. OK, I don't need it anymore. And then you have another designer. He will open the same library. Again, could be anyone. And he will use star. OK, so we go inside. And this is a template you can get, by the way, now when you open Photoshop. Your design here. And I would just add star here. And see how it behaves 
on the t-shirt. Okay, great. So, oh, okay, that's fine, but maybe I will contact the designer and say, uh, maybe you should update this. So he will open this, the smart object in the cloud, and uh, okay, I will do something simple. I will just change the color, make it more bright, and maybe make it more sharp, bubbly, yeah. Maybe bubbly, oh, yeah, I like this. And when I press save, it will save uh, this instance of the smart object in the cloud, okay? So all the designers and all the project using this shape uh, will uh, get it updated. So you see it's automatically updated here in my design, and if I check the t-shirt, it's updated now. Uh, so this is, uh, so when the Adobe XD team will integrate uh, the Creative Cloud libraries, you will get, get this by default, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Smart objects in the cloud. Yep. So this would be really amazing because you can really have a team of designers working on the icons in Illustrator, mm -hmm. uh, another one working on all the pictures uh, in, uh, in Photoshop, you know, so. Uh, and you have the UX designers integrating everything in XD and everyone working real time at the same time thanks to the cloud I and it would be I awesome. I know, I'm that, that can't wait. Feature. We can't I wait. I can't wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a UX test, Techlo. That's what we're doing. We're prototyping yeah. and testing a new feature. We've designed yeah, it. With in you. Less than two days. <laughs> <laughs> Christoph, you're totally right, man. And uh, I did, I totally, I totally did. I did it for a reason, which is making me a little sad. But yes, you are completely right. <laughs> oh yeah, Lilith, it'll yeah. be there on our YouTube page. Yeah. So the Creative yes, Cloud channel. you guys will be able to go check so, it out later. Yeah. Actually, if you subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel and go mm -hmm. to the notifications tab on YouTube, you can say, I want to be notified every time there is a new live stream mm -hmm. and every time there is a new video pushed. You know, yep. like, uh, uh, including the replays. So yeah, if you go uh, on the Creative Cloud channel, you will find the replays. And this one will be available uh, maybe 20 minutes after the end of the live. I mean, it's super fast. Yeah. Yeah, Luca, there we are. It looks like we are having a little bit of lag. So hang with us. We really yeah. appreciate you guys hanging and with And the us. lag is just uh, during uh, the live, actually. There is a lag. But uh, for the replay, we'll be in sync. Yep. So I can try to fix the lag now for you. But then the replay will be not in sync. No. And I will be stuck no there is no way then to edit the video so sorry but we are very small look there we are yeah. crunch and this huddled down in or the maybe corner. we can do this you know <laughs> we just hide our heart but it's mouth. we just want to have all this nice space for yeah. for adobe xd for xd that's what we want look at this i mean i mean so, so this you, is a lot of so work guys so I, you this is amazing. A new, i mean the type feature you put type the feature in 10 minutes 10 minutes i mean seriously it's ridiculous i mean we right we it's always good to have a good plan we had a good plan. That's we always true. knew that type was our stretch goal. And <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we, we you got to have a good plan. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just so I'm so happy with how this is coming out. I yeah, mean, so maybe we can talk about, yeah, some people are like, okay, if we move forward, if we go forward, uh, mm -hmm. if you have some features, what, what should we add uh, yeah. to these prototypes? Yeah, what do you guys so, think? Valims, you think that what about font modular scale when we mix fonts? Mm-hmm. Modular scale. So you'd be able to actually change mm. the scale of, you know, it's actually something before I was coming today, I knew we were going to work on type. Yeah. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could actually. Uh, with a slider? Just have a, just have a slider, which is a percentage. And then, like, in my design, I, uh, I would just be scaling everything, everything at the same percentage. That could be kind of interesting. Uh. Yeah, because resizing text, I mean, in, yeah. in all tools, I mean, not only yeah. XD, but like even yeah. in Illustrator or in Photoshop, resizing text is always a... Yeah. What we could do, though, because the other day we did, we actually showed the color picker. Uh -huh. So you could then edit those global colors once you'd applied it. And that's part of the prototype, guys. Definitely follow, follow us down the rabbit hole in those paths there. But what we could do is maybe you could click on this Archer card here and get right back to that list of typefaces that you were browsing and or that you have installed on your machine and you can just now change it globally oh yeah yeah right, come on, why not let's yeah, do it a good idea, let's right? do it yeah all right that, that could be cool and like maybe what this is saying is maybe we don't have to go into a whole new overlay mode maybe the remixing just happens oh in the ui itself See, this is this is why yeah. you prototype. No, no, that's, right? no it's true. So, so how would it be? 
So maybe you could um, on, on the left panel. Yeah, on the left hand. Maybe it's the left hand panel. Uh, like a remix button. Yeah. For the colors and then for the. Yep. Or I could see maybe maybe we have like a dedicated remix panel over oh. on the right too. Maybe yep. maybe. I know. See, these are these are like why we prototype, right? So you can kind of work through those problems. And now we have a workflow down. Now we can try it like a bunch of different ways. Um, all right, so that that's 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 really exciting. I mean, that's why we prototype. We prototype so we can again we can we're visual thinkers, you know. So we want to be able to see it, try something out. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go over back over here. Look how fast it is! It's so fast. Ah. Or I could just select it and hit Command Three. <laughs> okay, this I'm going to put over here for a sec. I'm going to group all that. I just want this. Great. Okay. Okay. So what? What are we trying to do? So we're going to change oh, like our extend. character style. We're going to we're going to swap our character okay, style okay, for okay. a different for a different typeface. Yeah, that's right. So let's put this over here. Yeah, and the YouTube bug is back again, and YouTube tells me that everything is good. That's amazing. So sorry really cramping for the our style, YouTube. Yeah. Man, just just like just like cramping, you know, just like <laughs> harshing our vibe. <laughs> um, well, that's a bummer. The views, yeah, that's that's ah, it. Yeah, the course. views get lower. That's of course. Man. But yeah, I mean, Just you would be able nice to enjoy things. the replay, so that yeah. would be fine. That's true. It'll be there. It'll be there. It's a series, and it's episode three. Like you can enjoy episode one, <laughs> two, three, like Star Wars. <laughs> Let's design YouTube instead of Adobe XD. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Hey, Claude. Hey, Claude. You will be live soon, Claude. Huh? <laughs> All right. So okay. So yeah, you would extend. Yeah. Let's, let's do. Oh, repeat grid again. There you go. A little repeat grid action. Okay. Okay. We want to maybe we wanna have this panel be. There we go. All right. All right. There was a shadow, no? Yeah, there's a little shadow oh, there. Okay. I think I need to. I need to think about that one a little bit more. Yeah. How we're gonna do that. So you would click on the yeah the yeah you click style. on the card and then you just see all your typefaces and then you can just browse through them tap on one and see it change everywhere okay that could be really awesome <laughs> but I was using white on the other one so now I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna show that maybe just show a little you know, it's just a little border on it just for now just as a placeholder okay great. I'm just going to imagine that just falls off there for now. Okay. Let's go up here and we had okay. All right. Oh, I can just right. Yeah. Does it copy paste the style? No, it doesn't. Do that. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. I, yeah, that's fine. Just uh, all right. There we go. Regular. Great. All right. This guy he gets to be blue because that's what we're doing. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. So we're just going to copy paste that. Now we're just going to make, I think we'd like to fill in. You like I like. I like fill yeah, yeah. I'm going I'm to try. All right. I do. I do. I, I think it's a nice typeface. OK. Great. And then. Is there a hotkey to make a symbol? Yeah. Yes. Uh, K? Command K. K. Yeah. Command, Command K. K. Yeah. 
Uh, and thank you for and directly answering in the chat. Mm -hmm. Even easier. OK. So then, so once we're back here, and it's breather. Oh, we already have, and we already have that one. This one is right there. So do that. Do that. OK, let's wire it up. OK. So here we are. Let's go to prototype mode. And we s click on the Archer card. It's going to pop that up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to click on Filson Soft, take us there. And then we're just going to click on the artboard to take us here. And there you go. Let's go, let's go walk through Try. it. Yep. Quick. Here we are. There it is. Pops up. Filson Soft. Maybe we should change when I click on it. That's what we should do. We're, we're missing. We're missing that. We need. We need, oh. we need yeah. this guy. I guess I pre there. I click. Yep. That is okay. Let's do it that way. Yeah. Okay. Click on that. Archer pops up. Fills and softs. Yeah. Looks good. Good. Okay. Ship it. I'm going to update the prototype link right now. Great. Yeah, but <laughs> they're all trying <laughs> to fix YouTube. Yeah. Ah, thanks for trying. YouTube. Yeah, you should all uh, send an email to YouTube. I'm sure there is a such a that's that's, info a, that's a bummer ending to our three days. Yeah, I mean, fix that. come that's on right. YouTube, behave. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yes. Is it's yeah, possible if it's here no, in yeah. the Bay Area. It's yeah. it's coming down. Yeah. So. Or it could be uh, any. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. A gamer streaming or something. There you go. Somebody's <laughs> knocking it off. <laughs> Got you know millions of viewers. Can you update the prototype? Is it, is I did. it linked? It's already updated. It's already updated. Okay. Already updated. Let's go look at Thanks. it. Here we are. Okay. So we walk through our whole flow here. Hit remix, circus. Yes, honey. Yeah. And we will add the link to the prototype in the description of the YouTube video too. Yeah. So people watching, can. working again. Yeah. I know it's a. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Her. Okay. We're back. Yeah. We're back. And Welcome it's, back, uh, Michael. HTML5 player error. I mean, telling it was on us. It was on us? No, like oh, pushing HTML5 uh, oh. against Flash for video players. No. Oh. Doesn't come. Doesn't, I, yeah. uh, it didn't oh. come from us. No, nope, that wasn't wasn't us. See what we happens. See yeah, what happens. We, we, don't, we don't have anything to do with that. You see what happens. Um, <laughs> Go back home here. I missed a step. Well, there you go. Remix that. There you go. That guy. <laughs> this guy. It's back to the future. The more they refresh, the, the more they travel to the past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there we are. Now, this is the part we added yeah. um, while we Archer. were knocked off. So now we're going to, of course, just change it right here in line. So I clicked on Archer. Now I'm like, I really liked Filson Soft. Let's do that. Good. Yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty good. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and then you will have to work on some user interactions. Yeah, here. yeah. Because you're like you have the list, but then mm, I know, I know. This again, like this is this is we because I want to try, I want, you know, I want to click yeah. and do some live previews, and yeah. then I say. Yeah. So maybe I, yeah, I just click out of the list. Maybe it's intuitive maybe, enough. Maybe I don't know. You need it's to, also good to see it live, you, though. Yeah, you need to do some user testing here. And it's so easy to 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 get back. Yeah, but, like seeing it live is is really I, yeah there's just something so great about seeing that change happen you know it just yeah. makes it i can just see new ideas yeah with the dissolved yeah. transition yeah there's yeah. something here yeah right? there is i think there is remixing a design mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. enrico yes i think we are live i, mean, I think uh, so do you have a newspaper so we can show the yeah. date i have the yeah. time on my phone <laughs> <laughs> it says 148. Alexander, thank you, Alexander. It's so just a little hard to follow, but it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think YouTube wanted to challenge us today. I mean, just yeah. doing uh, your screen time. I'm sorry. It's, but this it's is something. Live. Okay, let's do it again. I like this, uh, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, we should. You know, I would like I'd love prototyping to do this for, mm -hmm. for XD. Yeah, live. yeah, yeah, totally. I think we could do this. Like, it would give us a chance again to like get yeah. feedback on what features people are interested in. Again, you know, there we definitely rulers. <laughs> we're rulers, we're, yeah, we got rulers it. Rulers are coming. We like rules. He, he received all the tweets. Yeah, but what we <laughs> what we'd like to do is, you know, um, we're getting ready to start planning 
you know what 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 comes up in this next year yep. and i think there's a lot of really cool things we could be doing and uh it, would, it this has been so much fun to do this with michael and with the chat we'll definitely do it again yeah and exciting exciting also yeah to and show i'm like uh xd evolving yeah. this way yeah on well, the show like real like so many real ideas. work happening you know in yeah. xd i think um you know i've been using <laughs> xd to design like a, dark a dark theme, theme. Uh, yeah, we got it on Luca, Twitter. And Luca we did go, that. Luca yeah. already took Luca care of that. He already took okay, care yeah. of that for me. It's good. He's the new dark theme project yep. manager. He's got it. At XZ. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks to you, myself, for joining us. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is really fun, Michael. We definitely should do it again. It's been really great. Okay, so we still have five minutes together. Yeah, five minutes. What do you guys want to? Yeah, we want to talk about the. Uh, what do you want? Do you have any questions? Yep. You know, maybe you can talk about what, what will happen next year, you know, what we shared at Max. Yep. So what we shared at Max, we were really excited about, which was um, collaboration. Yeah, live so collaboration. So we're really excited about, you know, how can we work better as a design team, mm -hmm. like in, in collaborating with one another and always knowing, like, where the source of truth is um, in our designs. And uh, Felipe, just let us know. You're raising your hand. I see that. Um, <laughs> So really excited about that. Of course, more to come from Symbols, and maybe we were previewing a few things that we have in mind uh, here in, in the stream over the last three days. Um, we're definitely, again, like all the stuff on user voice is amazing. Um, micro interactions, we're definitely investigating. We have some prototypes going on internally for that. OK, so and micro interactions, so this is what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Like I click somewhere, and there is something mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, moving on the screen. Yep. And, uh, yep. Like um, uh -huh. more to come on mobile for sure, definitely in the coming year. Okay. Of course, um, you know Windows is just going to get closer and closer to Mac, um, and then we'll be releasing simultaneously updates for all the platforms. Okay. So in the new year, every month we'll have updates across Windows and Mac and, Mac. and Android with, and iOS with the same features. I mean, Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Parity. plan. That's yep. the plan. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's so that'll a be there. Huge uh, goal for the year. Yeah, we're really excited to get your feedback on Windows for all you the Windows yeah. users. Yeah, please uh, help menu provide feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, don't hesitate to share it. And also, it's a good way to meet other uh, people from the community using XD, yeah. you know, yeah. and sharing ideas. That is ex exactly what we did for uh, three days with you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that would be awesome. Felipe, XD is out on Windows. Go update your Creative Cloud downloader yeah, yeah, on Windows. We uh, released the uh, XD on mm -hmm. Windows uh, when like two days ago. Yeah, and it's got to be it's got to be Windows 10, and you need to have the anniversary update installed. Yeah, update your Windows. I said like because XD is just it's a brand new generation of apps on Windows, so we're using their brand new platform, and it's the first of its kind from Adobe on Windows. Yeah, so yeah, and also the goal is to leverage. Uh, I mean, what is also specific to Windows? You know, mm -hmm. if you have a touch screen. If, yeah. you, if you want to use the pen, maybe we, one day we'll be able to draw directly uh, mm -hmm. shapes, you know? Yeah. Yep. Next day, it could make sense. Yeah. Some CSS approach would be great. Also, yeah, something we can, maybe it's uh, in the future, at, at some point, XD will be an open platform with SDK. Yes. Probably. So, uh, sensibility. Uh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. extensibility using JavaScript. And I'm sure someone from the community at this point will be able to write, uh, you know, an export CSS plugin. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. That would be really cool. I mean, again, that's always been in our plans. And, you know, Adobe has a really rich history of, um, you know, building with the community. Yeah. And, I mean, I know some of my favorite tools for plugins for Photoshop or of Illustrator. Course, yeah. Illustrator, After Effects. You yeah. Know, After Effects without plugin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing. So, yeah, I think it would be great. So, yeah. Thanks again, Tallinn, and oh, uh, thanks, we will Michael. be back live. Hopefully, YouTube will be fixed. <laughs> okay, finger crossed, but I think so. And thanks for staying with us. Thanks, and, guys. And uh, we will do some giveaways, and uh, in five minutes, we will be back mm. on adobelive.com yep. with our friends Claude and Ryan from Digital Telepathy. They will prototype an app for a uh, link with tattoos today, right? Yeah, yeah there's right. some tattoo stuff coming. This will be interesting, and this will be the last stream of the UX Design we, Live Week. Can we do a remix tattoo Yeah, we do feature. a remix tattoo feature. <laughs> okay, bye, everyone, and see you yes. soon. And five minutes on Adobe Live. <laughs>